Now we are looking at a sagittal section through the larynx. And right over here, this is the anterior part, and here is the posterior part. Right over here is the hyoid bone. Uh, the hyoid bone you can see is attached to the larynx by a couple of ligaments that you can see in this view. Uh, one right over here connects the hyoid bone to the epiglottis. So here is the epiglottic cartilage. Uh, and uh, so this would be the hyoepiglottic ligament. And here, the hyoid bone is connected to the thyroid cartilage, which is over here, by the thyrohyoid ligament. The narrow part of the cricoid cartilage is right over here, and the wide part is back over here. 28 represents the location of the vocal cords. Uh, so you have the, uh, an elastic ligament within that is covered by a mucous membrane, and this is also known as the true vocal cord, right over here. So this is one half of the vocal cords, this is, uh, and the, the opening in between the two would be referred to as the glottis, hence the, the name of this piece of cartilage which protects this opening is the epiglottis, above the glottis. Now there is a, a recess right above where you have the true vocal cords. And right over here there is another fold that's also supported by another ligament. And this ligament is referred to as the vestibular ligament. So 27 would indicate the location of the vestibular fold. It is also called the ventricular fold. So 28 represents the true vocal cords, 27 the false vocal cords. And if we zoom further out, you can see the rest of the epiglottis is right over here, covered by mucous membrane. And we get another view of the corniculate cartilage, which is now is not really visible, but it would be right over here on the tip of the arytenoids, which would be right over here. It's covered by muscle from this perspective. And right over here, this bump again represents the location of the cuneiform cartilage. And you, th these are paired.